Hi, my name is Robert. I'm the blogger stroke researcher here at SolarFast. And today I'd like to talk to you about energy storage. When you have a solar system and you're getting all those lovely sun rays coming in and producing electricity for you, you're gonna to wanna to put that electricity somewhere if you're not using it. And that somewhere is in a battery. So let's take a look at what's available, what they are and what they cost. Did you know you can save up to 80% on your energy bills with a solar fast system? To find out more or to get your free quote, follow the link in the description. So what kind of batteries are available for storing your electricity from your solar panels? Well, there are loads and loads of ways of doing that. There's loads of different technology. There's loads of different items and appliances you can use. But basically, most solar installs in the UK will use lithium ion batteries. Now, lithium ion batteries aren't the kind of batteries that you stick inside your remote control. Lithium ion batteries are the ones that you will find in EVs and electric cars because they can be discharged and charged over and over and over again without affecting the performance. That's why we use lithium ion. I could go into what lithium ion is, but basically it's got lithium in it and it is in like a nice solution and all the magic happens in there to store the electricity, positive to negative, negative to positive. If you want to find out more about that, you can find some of Chris's videos. He's much more technical than I am and you can find them here. So why do you need battery storage? To save money, that's why you need battery storage. During the day, your panels, whether it's sunny or not, will be producing electricity. If you're not using that electricity, then it's going to the grid. Even if you're on a pretty good SEG, that's not gonna be earning you any money. Not really, pence, because it's not peak time. So when it's not peak time, don't sell it to the grid, stick it in a battery and use it at peak time. If you're putting that in a battery and then using it when the electricity company wants to charge you 34 pence per kilowatt hour, then you're gonna save yourself a lot of dosh. And as they go from 1500 to 10 grand, you can decide which battery is gonna be a good outlay for your home. So generally in the domestic solar market, you'll find that most of the batteries are lithium ion. Lithium ion batteries are great for solar because they can charge and discharge over and over again without affecting the performance. This is what's called the life cycle of a battery. Generally, you're looking at about 6,000 charges and discharges for your average kind of battery. Now that would be twice a day for 10 years, so that's pretty good. Some things like the Tesla Powerwall reckon they've got infinite, but we don't really understand how that can be, but they can definitely do 10,000 plus, which is what is called infinite. So you're looking at a solar battery that's gonna last for about 10 years, It'll probably come with a guarantee that's for 10 years and the storage is going to be anything from 1.2 kilowatt per hour right up to a massive 13.8 kilowatt per hour, depending on who you're buying from. How many solar batteries are you going to need? There's a lot of things that depend on what you're actually going to go out there and buy because there's no point buying yourself a massive 13.8 kilowatt battery if you've only got two panels on your roof and you're only going to get that much charge during the day. So what you use in the house, what your solar panels can produce, or what you can charge them up in the night time for cheap money on a nice SEG is gonna dictate how much battery storage you're actually going to need. Most homes get away with six or seven kilowatt hours battery storage, that will do them. They'll still need to get stuff from the grid, but you will be able to use it. If you've got a huge house, two massive Tesla power walls, and as many panels as you can possibly get your mitts on. Your system might have cost you in excess of 100 grand, but you're never gonna to have to buy electricity from the suppliers ever again. Another good thing about battery storage is you don't necessarily need to have solar panels. We here at SolarFast do battery only installs, and that's for people who want to save money by doing what we said earlier which is filling them up at night time for nine pence, say, per kilowatt hour, and then using that at peak times when the electricity companies are gonna start charging you 30 to 34 pence per kilowatt hour. You'll be using your batteries, it's costing you nine pence per kilowatt hour. But also there are a few companies out there that will accept power from batteries on their SEGs. So you could potentially store it at nine pence per kilowatt hour and then sell it back to the companies at 40 pence per kilowatt hour for a couple of hours in the evening, which seems like good business sense and making you money. 
Now we did mention earlier on that the usual batteries you'll find in the solar domestic market were lithium ion. There are other batteries available of course like lead ion, uh, graphene ones are starting to come online, there's flow batteries but these are not really very practical for a domestic install. Flow batteries tend to be for utility installs when you have hundreds and hundreds of batteries together because they're kept nice and cool. Lead acid batteries, well they're the batteries that you have in your remote control and, and what have you and they're just really not very good for charging up and discharging. And then graphene batteries are the future, very, very expensive but extremely good at storing energy. We'll probably see them appearing on the market in about five years time. So how much is this going to cost you, the customer? Well, they reckon that the average cost of solar power storage is about £900 per kilowatt hour. But we've looked around and the Tesla Powerwall, that comes in at less than that. The Greenlinx batteries come in at less than that as well. A Greenlinx battery will cost you between £1,500 and £2,500 and they've got 3.2 kilowatts hours of storage. The Tesla Powerwall is anything between seven and a half thousand and ten thousand, and that does thirteen point eight kilowatt hours. So again, less than nine hundred pounds per kilowatt hour. So you'll be looking for somewhere that's in your budget, really, that's going to store the amount that you need and 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 not break your bank. So we would say two Greenlinks batteries would give you six point four kilowatt hours of storage. That would cost you around about four thousand to five thousand pounds and that would do your average family home in britain with 12 solar panels on the roof so that's about five grand four grand five grand then there's the other side of the coin which is the tesla thing which you're going to pay about 25 30 grand for the whole system they won't work with any other panels they won't work with any other inverters so that's quite a big outlay but if you've got a big house and you've got plenty of room for everything then that's a good idea for you as well so try and look for anything that's under £900 per kilowatt hour and you can't go far wrong. So in conclusion, here's what you're looking for when you do go buy a battery. You're looking for good depth of discharge, which means how much of the charge that's in the battery you can actually use. They range from about 85% to 100%. The green links are 100%. After that, you want to look at the life cycle, which should be at least 6,000, more if possible and that will probably come with a 10 year guarantee because that's how long that is. And after that, you want to look at operating temperatures, cost per kilowatt hour, and size, because you don't want to get something huge you can't fit in your loft. If you want to find out more, then please come along to the SolarFast website, solarfast.co.uk, or click the link down here, which will take you straight to the blog about the cost of solar battery storage. Please like and subscribe and we'll tell you all about solar in the future, solar in the past and what you need to know.